Welcome back to the cult, I'm Sauceberry. Recently, or at least I hope it's still recent, Cult of the Lamb revealed Unholy Alliance, which, if you aren't aware, local co-op is coming to the game. Although, that doesn't mean you can co-op online. Sorry long distance folks. However, in previous trailers, they tend to list out new things that are coming to the game. This time around, they didn't do that. And, they showed us some new things in the trailers, and I just wanted to share them and see what is in the trailer that they didn't point out to us. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can spot. We start off at the lighthouse with the gem shining past the lamb and a cultist fighting. Soon after, a drip of the lamb's blood drops into water nearby, and then a portal opens with now this new goat showing up. Probably also a lamb, but it seems after this trailer came out, they confirmed that it is a ghost, so, you know, I, I don't think I need to postpone something, you know? I think, uh, we can live with that. Again, we'll see once this drops if there's any lore implications here, but other than that, soon we're shown some actual gameplay, which shows our new goat friend coming out of what looks like some I-Core, or just spawning out of it. Everything looks the same, from like a normal coastal land gameplay loop, with no new enemies or bosses that we can really see, but things get more interesting once we get to the camp. Get cozy, we're gonna be here in this frame for a while. From what I was able to tell, there are some new decorations that seems this type of decoration for the DLC is gonna be Asian themed, with bamboo, a pagoda, tower, which could act as a lantern from what I was able to find. Lastly, I thought this was a sky lantern for a sec, but it seems to be more of an outdoor sushi and bar paper lantern that we have off to the side on these sticks. We also have some Camilla flowers that are also raised or just surrounded by sticks to make the little box. So maybe in the future, we might have some more garden or decor from some of the plants that we use in the farm. Honestly, really good decor. I actually really like this one, so I'm hoping to get this once this drops. Now that we're done with the decor, here's one for speculation. From what I was able to tell, this yellow animal seems to be unique. I wasn't able to find an animal that looks similar to this. I thought this was a giraffe for a sec, but after taking a look, they don't look similar at all. And it seems to be another animal that has like a head shape to where it shows off where their nose is supposed to be. But of course, you know, their face is somewhere else. Let me know in the comments what animal you think this is because I don't have a clue, to be honest with y'all. And finally, moving on to the next frame, we see what they were finished building. It looks like a table with three sticks and some cloths on the side and what looks like to have a design that has like two bones and a cross and a dot on the top. There could also be a dot at the bottom but unfortunately a little dust debris prevents us from seeing the whole design. It would make sense that with the new co-op they would have us a sneak peek at a new minigame to play with your friends other than just knuckle bones but of course I want to see how to do that as well. Again I can't say for certain what this is exactly but my guess is that this could be a similar game to dots and boxes to where you would draw a line between dots to make as many boxes more than your opponents. So I think that's what it's going to be but of course if you think it's something different let me know. Finally moving on to new scenery we see the bros fishing together which is a nice bonding activity which is you to do with your dad since it's just as fun. Ain't that right my amigos? Then we move on to the goat about to do a ritual which shows yes they can do everything the lamb can do normally. The next scene is a bit more interesting though. We have a new building which seems to be a play area for the babies in the cult, which could help since I keep losing track of them and these kids man. It could also help raise them a bit faster which would be nice to have. Also we can't forget and miss about the lamb plushie in the background which is a fire touch to this as well. To end the trailer, we get the lamb tipping us off with his crown which looks like a hat now. Along with this, I think this might be a new fleece for the lamb which as a western cowboy looks pretty good. Or at the very least I hope it is. This could just be a new costume from the tailor but I hope it's something new like maybe a fleece that only gives you a gun as the weapon with more ammo or something. But alas we just have to wait nor did they really highlight this one I was at the very end so it could be a new fleece probably isn't but I have my hopes up. With that the trailer comes to an end so what are my thoughts on this? It's clear that this update is going to be as big as Sins of the Flesh. The main feature of this one is just co-op, which is okay, since it would make sense to drop something crazy new or with new mechanics after co-op is introduced. 
However, I do wonder if this would change some design philosophy or design process for new things since they have to take in consideration of co-op in the future. Regardless, this trailer could be hiding more things or maybe there might be more since they didn't list off everything. And of course, there might not be much to really reveal so this really could just be all they have to show which is fine by me. I always like a new content in this game. So I'm happy with this. Let me know in the comments if you're also looking forward to this update and if you have any ideas that you hope to see or anything that I could have missed. Hopefully you have a friend to play with and remember to join the cult and subscribe. Be sure to tell your friend, otherwise I will be replacing them. Anyways, I'll see you next time.